evening. Okay, um, like and subscribe. Um, this channel is usually a Spanish speaking channel. Uh, right now I'm doing the English version on this video because I think this information should get through everyone. So I think in English it will get through even more people than Spanish. Um, I have, if you want, if, si hablas español, tengo este video, lo voy a poner en el link en español. So what I was saying in, in, in Spanish is that I, I have this video in Spanish as well. Okay, so here you will see the first images. Today is August 8, 2023, 6.47 p.m. Uh, Florida time, USA. These are the first images, track releases uh, about the Super Caliber Gen 2 2024 9.8. In this, uh, these pictures, um, the track that we're showing is a uh, red smoke, red smoke with red fonts. So you have three colors. You have like a marble gray, matte gray. You have uh, the black one and this one on the top two levels, the 9.8 and the 9.9. .9. This one is the red smoke. Okay, so let's take a look. Right now, it's very important if you don't know this, um, this bike, the new one is Rock Shocks and it's uh, 80 millimeters in the rear and 110 in the front. The ge geometry stayed the same and a few things, a few other things change in terms of components, but now it's Rock Shocks. We'll see that in a few. Uh, every, let me see. In terms of components, this one is full GX T type. So in this one, you have the full DX T-Type. There's no longer uh, Eagle version. Now it's T-Type. So this one is full DX T-Type with the new GX steel brakes. So you see that this is the red smoke color. It's very nice. It's very subtle. Um, it looks it, it looks mature. I don't know if it looks kind of racing like I used to like, like, like I like the colors of my bike. But if you see rock chucks right here, I'll show you the ISO strut right now in the in the few seconds. But you see how it looks? It's like a carbon fiber with a clear, with a red clear coat. It looks pretty nice. This color is old. This is not a new color. It's a new color in the super caliber, if I'm not mistaken. Like and subscribe, remember, uh, or and share this video. So now they have a new patent on um, the ISO strut. Remember before it was Fox. Now is Rock Chucks six seat looks. This is the new model. This is very similar to the model on the new uh, specialized Epic World Cup. The only thing is that the, this one has a remote lockout. The World Cup, the specialized World Cup, has two chain, two air chambers, and you have to pre-select the how hard you want the suspension to work. In here, you have a lockout. I really prefer, I'm a Trek fanboy, but I think the Specialized World Cup, the system, I think works better. But we'll have to try this one to see. Okay, um, then we have more pictures of the GX system in this bike. Here you can appreciate a little bit more of the color. Uh, okay, another new thing on this bike is that they created an adapter. You see here, it's like an adapter to be able to use um, four piston rear calibers. The first uh, super caliber, the Gen 1, only accepted, the only four pistons that accepted were the SRAM ones, the SRAM Ultimates or the SRAM um, G2s and level. But you couldn't use Maguras or Hope or anything else. Now you can use the, with this new adapter, you can use four piston calibers in the rear. This is another look at the bike. Okay, another new thing, two new things. The Kobe Elite 30, they changed. Now the rim is lighter, so you will have lighter rims compared to the Kobe Elites from last year. Also, something that is an introduction on this bike for the Bond Trager um, uh, tires, you will have the Saint Aim. This is the racing tire for Bond Trager. Um, this is the Saint Aim RSL 2.4 tubeless. So this tire is lighter than the Bone Trucker XR4s or XR2s or the Team Issues. So these are lighter. I don't like Bone Trucker tires that much. I prefer uh, Pirelli's or Maxis, but that's your choice. But this is brand new for 2024. Uh, this is another look. It will still have the RSL integrated handlebar. Uh, this is a very nice handlebar. If you, I have a, 
a uh, top a uh, 2022 top fuel fully XXSL. Uh, I I claim it to be the lightest top fuel in the market right now in the world right now in terms of that new frame. So if you are interested, look for the videos on my channel. Uh, but basically that's it. This is this is the bike, the 2024 Trek Super Caliber Gen 2 9.8. It looks good. It's 1.5 pounds lighter. The frame is lighter. The 9.8 and the 9.9 is an SLR frame. So it's a lighter frame than the 9.6, 9.56, and 7. So it's a lighter frame. It's even lighter than the, the 2023 frame. So that's something also good. It's an SLR frame. Um, it's the first time Trek does this on the Super Caliber. They do it on the on the road bikes and they used to do it on the mountain bikes but so it's the first time we see this coming back again in a super caliber but basically that's it um like and subscribe also in the comments this is very important i would like to know your opinion do you think this is enough like the changes on the 2024 are they enough to compete with the super the, the specialized epic world cup For me personally, and, and let's take into consideration, I'm a Trek fanboy. All the bikes in my channel are Trek, so I really like Trek. I believe that the Specialized Epic World Cup is a better bike right now, today in 2024. This one doesn't even have integrated cables. Like you can see, let me show you the pictures. You can see right here, this is old school. Right now, all the BMCs, Orbeas, Specialized, all the new bikes, are integrating the cables coming from the handlebar directly through the headset. So you no longer have those holes on the frame. And they look cleaner, it's lighter, it, it makes the frame steeper. So I think this is just like, a, instead of a Gen 2, this should be called a Gen 1.5. It's like a, like when like Ford and Chevrolet, when they do like a mid-year change on the car. So this should be a, a Gen 1.5 instead of a Gen 2. But that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you think it's enough, if you think this bike is better than the Epic World Cup from Specialist. Okay, like and subscribe.